Hey guys, what up? It's your boy at Fire, and today we're gonna to be reviewing the Fly Diggy Apex 2, which you see right here, versus the Fly Diggy Waps 2. Alright. You know, game pads like this are good for people who really want to get into that Xbox kind of feel. You know, you want to connect it to your TV or connect a game, an Android game to your TV and basically play with, uh, although this particular path supports playing on Windows, um, iOS, Android. So it's not really just about the, you know, mobile games, okay? You can use it for a couple of things. But now we're going to be discussing about how that works well for Android, all right? Now, the, one of the things I've noticed, one of the advantages you may have in using pads like this is things like auto-tapping, things like not having to bother about touch screen, you know, heating and all of those stuff and also things around you know just generally i mean this has a six axis gyro so you can actually move it around and still have like the gyroscope you have on your phone you understand in older days uh, you couldn't do stuff like that you know uh, but but now you can so so your phone doesn't have to come with gyroscope and um, now this one on the other on the other hand also has gyro all right so for the sake of this video i've already gone and configured out you know the entire gamepad and layout and all of that stuff all right so we're not going to be discussing about how it's set up and all of that stuff in this video you can find out out in a couple of other videos out there um but we're just going to dive into how this works what it does and show you basically the functionalities of it you know and stuff like that um so there is an app for it which is called like the fly diggy game center and you just open that up now here, as you can see, and um, that's up, and we can start the OG Mobile right there. Okay. Alrighty then. So, PUBG, while well, PUBG is starting up, okay, let's get into it. Let's get into it. So, as you can see right here, I'm moving this using the game pad right there i'm going left right left right left right left right all right so you can see that quite clearly and i pretty much working out and i just pick up a weapon And I'll pick up also a mini for tin, all intents and purposes. And to zoom in, and I'll show you the auto fire thing now. That's just basically what it is. Now I'm not going to go into how that's configured. Alright, you can see that. But this still allows me, you know, uh, okay, we can see that right now. Oh, I don't need to show you my screen. All right, so as you can see, my config, I can still have my fingers free around this center. And that's pretty much how it works. All right, so we're just going to take this off and pretty much just restart the whole process and turn it on this guy. Alright, so we just turn on this guy and I'm gonna just place him down here because we're gonna be using. Um, Normally you just place it down. Alright, and I'm gonna just start it off. Alright, you can see it's auto detected, like I said, just like before. Um, so now we're connecting the Fly Diggy Apex 2 to this, and we're just basically gonna hold this. We're not holding the device, we're just holding this. We're gonna move around with that. It's a great concept, you know, having this, um, you know, having to just drop the device and just hold the pad and just play with it as much as you like, you know. And and I, I mean, I, I, I like to see how it does, you know. I mean, I don't know about you, but I would prefer a situation where I can just hold this and have fun with it, you know, uh, like you would with an Xbox. But let's see how let's see how it rolls. All right. So as you can see, 
this is me now trying to turn okay um i could have set a button for for reload but i'm not doing that so while on the left side it has the ability to move you can see that i'm struggling when it comes to now turning around with the right joystick really struggling really good it all works it does what it says it would do when it comes to I mean it, it does what it says it would do but I'm not just feeling moving around as you can see with this joystick like it's just not the same feel as using a touch screen that's i'm talking about the right joystick now but the left one's quite okay you know um i'm not just winning that one so at the end of the day um what i have noticed between the two different game paths using this as opposed to using that one i'm gonna just leave here Us using this as opposed to using using this one or this one any one of them is that at the end of the day it just still feels like you know, you're never gonna really replace touch. All right, all right. So, so now, now that now that we've discussed that, we'll, we'll discuss that, and we've gone through the entire video um, um, on the gameplay and. You know, talked about the the different reviews, what it looks like, what it does, um, how it basically functions. Um, the next step is is which one of them is the winner <laughs> at the end of the day. Like, which one of them works well for you? Which one of them you know stands out as the gamepad to go with, as the gamepad to flow with, as the gamepad you know to work with? If it is for you, of course. Um, for me, uh, game pads like this one are really great if you're playing other games like soccer, um, PES, you know, um, playing Paris games. It's, it's, it's probably great. Need for Speed and all those kind of things. But when it comes to PUBG, moving around with the joystick as compared to using the touch is not really that accurate. It's a bit slow as I showed in the example. Um, so for me, it's a no no at the end of the day so the waps 2 definitely wins you get a couple of buttons right here to press along and still have your touch screen you know your your other thumb and other finger can to do can to do a couple of works there's a mixture of a lot of things you know it kind of gives you that five six fingers control ish kind of gameplay um but because you're moving around with this it gives you a whole lot of flexibility when it comes to your movement, when it comes to jiggling, when it comes to a couple of things, and that's just it. So, thank you for being on board with us on this video. Uh, by the way, I must say this video is sponsored by the Vertigo team. Team who are coming up with an amazing tournament. The prize pool is going to be off the roof, okay? The prize pool is going to be off the roof. There's going to be a lot of giveaways. Um, on streams, um, it's going to be it's for PUBG and Call of Duty Mobile, mobile, um, and yeah. So just join the Discord server right there in the description. Please do remember to hit that subscribe button. Okay, hit that subscribe button and leave a like on this video. Uh, leave a comment on what you think. If you have further questions on this gamepad, all right, just just ask me right there in the comments, and I will always always reply. All right, thank you guys for, for, for watching. It's your boy Act Fire, and I'll see you in the next one.